Whoa! Rock and roll! Whoa! Hey, hey! <laughs> How come rock and rollers are the only ones who get out their kind of music at a concert and request? You never see anybody. You never see anybody at the ballet going classical, classical, do Swan Way. Oh boy, have you ever that happened when an animal darts out in front of your car and you can't swerve? You have to hit it. That happened to me the other day, and I thought to myself, maybe I can straddle it with my tires. And I, I was doing all right, but the animal must have panicked. I heard it hit the back tire. I know I killed it. I couldn't even look. Oof, poor cow. <laughs> oh, criminy Pete, did I make a mistake this morning? I accidentally put my chameleon lizard on a plaid shirt, and he exploded. <laughs> well, that was my response, too. <laughs> Then that makes a guy like me feel terrible because I love animals. I couldn't kill a fly. Couldn't even hurt a fly, although I don't mind messing with their heads. Matter of fact, what I like to do, I like to catch a bunch of flies, hold them above a globe of the world, and watch them all go, ah, I'm way too high! <laughs> you guys familiar with Elliot's peripheral extrapolation theorem? Well, well, for those of you that aren't, that's the one that pretty much states, depending on the size of an enclosure, i.e. an aquarium or terrarium, that the animal, i.e. fish or lizard that you put in that enclosure, will grow depending on the size and room it has to grow in. And based on that, I've been wearing some very large underwear. <laughs> oh. This happens to everybody at least once in your life. You're sitting in the public restroom, on the toilet, someone opens up the stall door while you're in the john. <laughs> we all look exactly the same way when that happens. <laughs> Corralling all those IQ points. Just as embarrassing though, just as embarrassing is when you go to check that crack to see if someone's in there and someone's looking back at you. <laughs> And you gotta, be, you gotta be real careful when you're in there that you don't make too much noise. Because when you come out, people recognize you by your shoes. <laughs> That's why whenever I go out, I always bring a change of shoes. <laughs> oh boy. I don't know, maybe I've been doing it wrong, but lately when I make love to my wife, I pretend I'm somebody else. And, uh, <laughs> that, that's nothing, when we're done, I go into a jealous rage. <laughs> my wife's pretty kinky too. Uh, she likes to tie mirrors all over our body and then stare at the ceiling. <laughs> I like that fun, but I draw a line. <laughs> you guys watch that seniors baseball league they had this winter with the old timers playing in the leagues from Florida? Yeah. That was fun. Kind of sad to watch a pitcher get yanked for bladder control problems. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys play Trivia Pursuit yet? I, I play Trivia Pursuit. I learned that Roy Rogers actually house trained Trigger. Now, how do you house train a horse? You come home after a hard day and go, hey, who did that? <laughs> Dog's gotta be going clockhead. I'm not that big and the fish have been in the bowl all day. Uh, why don't you check out the Appaloosa in the kitchen, Columbo? <laughs> well, I think it's time for a little magic trick. Wow, you do magic too? <laughs> yep. This is a little magic trick you'll be able to do at home. All you need Stroke me, stroke me, stroke me, stroke, stroke. I just lean on me, brother, when you need a hand. Everybody now, we will, we will rock you. There's a rider on the storm. Shut on, shut on. Well, I don't hardly know her. But I think I could drum solo for a minute, got it to Vita. <laughs> 